Hello everybody, welcome to Fluency. We're going to continue with our mystery series. Uh, last week was the case of the carnival money. This week is the case of the Halloween monster. This week's mini mystery, Wendy is the main character and her uncle Sam Sherlock is trying to figure out which um, goblin she is dressed as. So that's the mystery this week. <clears throat> we are going to use the case of the Halloween monster for a couple things. We're going to practice our fluency by echo reading, choral reading, and you uh, reading independently. We're going to start off with echo reading. Remember, you echo reading means you reading right after me, trying to make your voice echo or sound like mine. We're going to pay close attention to the punctuation that the author chooses. We're going to pause uh, briefly at commas. We're going to pause a little longer at periods. We're going to make our voices sound excited if we see an exclamation point. And we're going to make them um, sound like a question if we see a question mark. Okay, get ready. Look over at your partner. Give him a smile. Here we go. The Case of the Halloween Monster. Wendy, I can't believe you want to go out trick-or-treating with your arm in a cast. There will be other Halloween nights. Wendy's mother was hoping Wendy would stay home and rest. Mother, I have just the costume. You will be surprised. I'll be home early. I won't eat any candy without wrappers. I'll examine each piece carefully. Sue and Heather will walk with me. Okay, her mother said, but be very careful and stay on Uncle Sam's block. Wendy's Uncle Sam was the famous detective, Sam Sherlock. He loved to guess which goblin Wendy was. Heather and Sue came to Wendy's house. Heather was a princess. She wore a mask that looked like Walt Disney's Cinderella. Her arms and legs were covered with gold material and her dress was white. She carried a wand in one hand and a pumpkin in the other. Sue was dressed like a tramp. She carried a bundle on a stick in one hand and a pillowcase in the other. She wore a funny mask. 
Wendy, Sue, and Heather rang Sam's doorbell. Watson barked and Sam opened the door to the cries of trick or treat. Sam looked at the figure covered with a big white sheet and said, Wendy, that's a great costume. How did Sam know the ghost was Wendy? All right, great job, Echo Reading. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Now we're going to do some choral reading. Choral reading means you reading with me. Get ready. The Case of the Halloween Monster. Wendy, I can't believe you want to go out trick-or-treating with your arm in a cast. There will be other Halloween nights. Wendy's mother was hoping Wendy would stay home and rest. Mother, I have just the costume. You will be surprised. I'll be home early. I won't eat any candy without wrappers. I'll examine each piece carefully. Sue and Heather will walk with me. Okay, her mother said, but be very careful and stay on Uncle Sam's block. Wendy's Uncle Sam was the famous detective Sam Sherlock. He loved to guess which goblin Wendy was. Heather and Sue came to Wendy's house Heather was a princess. She wore a mask that looked like Walt Disney's Cinderella. Her arms and legs were covered with gold material, and her dress was white. She carried a wand in one hand and a pumpkin in the other. Sue was dressed like a tramp. She carried a bundle on a stick in one hand and a pillowcase in the other. She wore a funny mask. Wendy, Sue, and Heather rang Sam's doorbell. Watson barked and Sam opened the door to the cries of trick or treat. Sam looked at the figure covered with a big white sheet and said, Wendy, that's a great costume. How did Sam know the ghost was Wendy? All right, great job. Give your partner a little pinky high five. You guys did great with me. Now we're going to think and talk about the case of the Halloween monster by thinking of a few questions that um, give you clues about what's going on and what you should be thinking about while you're reading. So I'm going to show the questions. If at any point you and your partner need to pause the video so that you can discuss further, you can do that. Okay, here we go. How do you think Sam knew the ghost was Wendy? Why didn't Wendy's mother want her to go out on Halloween? What did Wendy tell her mother about the candy she would collect? How many friends did Wendy go out with on Halloween? What was Heather dressed like?
What was Sue dressed like? What did Sue carry to collect the treats? Where was Wendy supposed to stay? What are some good rules to follow when you're out on Halloween night? Do you think Wendy was clever in choosing her costume? Why or why not? All right, go back to the, the story, the case of the Halloween monster. Now you're going to read it independently two more times. I want you to turn your back away from your partner and I want you to whisper read the case of the Halloween monster to yourself. Then I want you to turn back to your partner, give them a smile and I want you to read it out loud one more time to your partner and then I want you to listen to your partner read it out loud one more time to you. Great job, guys, practicing your fluency, reading and rereading and paying close attention to punctuation to help you understand what you read. I'll see you next week.